function the header file string.h should be included compulsory we need string.h header file to perform string manipulation functions this declaration reserves 50 bytes to store the characters of the string variable st here c++ provides the function get line function to read a given string welcome back to one and all myself vasantha lecturer in computer science vidyashram pre university college temple of excellence mysore today we will start with the second session of function chapter whereas in the previous session we have studied regarding introduction to function what do you mean by function it is a set of statements it perform the task after performing the task it will generate the result here when you come on types of functions there are two types library function as well as user defined function whereas library functions are predefined function with the help of header files we are using that functionalities when we come on user defined function here the user whichever way they want they can define here the name itself is string user defined function and the next one different header files you have studied regarding io stream for which purpose we are using string.h math.h what are the main functionalities of that header files regarding that you have studied with that some of the character functions like is alpha is digit what is the work of is alpha is digit is upper is lower two upper two lower regarding that you have studied in the previous session whereas on today's session you will come to know regarding string functions what do you mean by string under that which are the different types of string functions you have then how to declare or declaring a string variable how to declare that then how to initializing a string variables then how to input a string how to outputting a string that means how to print the string then some string manipulations functions with that other functions you will come to know on today's session first we will discuss about string functions what do you mean by string first of all for example if i have n then it can be called as character it is open as well as closed by single quotes for example collection of characters n a m e name it is a collection of characters it is open as well as closed by double quotes here it is a character whereas here we are double quotes on that time it can be called as string whereas string is a collection of characters a string is a sequence of characters enclosed within a double quotes if it is character it is enclosed by single quotes if it is string then it is enclosed by double quotes string are manipulated as one dimensional array of characters and terminated by null characters here always it ends with null character and i can see this string as one dimensional array data type also we can able to mention here c++ provides many functions to manipulate the given strings if i want to change or to make any changes on the string that also in c++ it provides to use this function the header file string.h should be included compulsory we need string.h header file to perform string manipulation functions now how to declare how to declare a given string whereas the declaration of a string variable can be done with char string name then size for example if i'm going to write int e of 10 then totally we have 10 characters all the 10 characters of type integer we used to say whereas for string first you have to use data type is char then whatever name you want for the string or for that array you can give then here mention the size that means here totally we have 10 characters on that the name of that string here especially str we are given it means that here the string name is the name of the string that is array name here or we can say that it is a string name string name is the name of the string variable 
size is the number of characters in the string here this represents how many characters are there whereas in this example this size represents how many characters we can able to include on that string the size helps the compiler to allocate required number of memory location to store the string how much of memory we have to allocate the compiler will come to know for example if i'm going to write char char a of 10 then what happens the string name we are given as a and totally 10 characters we can able to include because here char we are given it means that the compiler will allocate totally 10 memory space first one starts from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 then 8 then 9 Totally 10 as there, but the last portion will be m minus 1. That means if I know how many size, then the compiler can easily allocate that much of memory space. For example, char st50 we are given. It means that here 50 represent 50 characters we can take, and the string name we are given as st here. This declaration reserves 50 bytes to store the characters of the string variable st. For the variable st or for the array name st, it will allocate 50 memory space. Then next we will move on to how to initializing a string or how to initialize a given string. That means how to initialize to assign some value to that given string. Now already you came to know what do you mean by string? How to declare the string? But now you will study how to initialize the string. To perform that, we need to mention which are the characters are there, the size of that characters, especially here, the size of the string here we have to know. Then at the end, we are going to get the null character here. Like other variables, string can also be initialized when they are declared. For example, here char s of 10 we are given. That means, the compiler will allocate totally 10 memory space. On that space, we are initializing Karnataka. Totally here, 10 memory space we have. First space 0, then 1, next 2, 3, then here 4, then 5, 6, 7, 8, and the last one will be 9. But if you observe here, first memory space, it will take k then next a, then r, n, then after that once again it will take a, then t, a, k, a. And the last one are initialized by its ends with null character. From that we can see that it is the end of that given string. That means on this pattern also we can able to initialize the given string. There is only nine characters in the, in the given string the null character is automatically appended to the end of the string. Automatically for the last memory space, it will take null. For one more example, we are given char s inside the bracket, we are not mentioning any size. Directly we use write equals Bangalore. Then what happens? Automatically the compiler will decide how much space it required. And depending upon that given string, whatever value initialized, that many memory space is allocated by the compiler here. The string st is initialized without specifying its size. Here we does not have the size here. The size is determined automatically which is 9 in the above example here. Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 automatically the compiler will decide how much space it required. Next, we will move on how to input in a character. Already we, you know. Now we are explaining how to input a string. Whereas for character, we just using the function get function. To print the character, put function we are using. But now, if I want to input a string, then we have to mention get line function we have to use. From that, we can able to input the given string. Here C++ provides the function get line function to read a given string. Especially if I want to import, then we required 
get a line function. The general form of this is C in dot get line string name. Then here comma psi is here to mention. From that I can able to mention what is the string name, how many characters usually it will take. Whereas get line, the name itself is a string. It will take the entire line at a time. Whereas get function helps to input a single character. Whereas get line function helps to input entire line of text. Here if you observe this example, see in dot get line we are written. It means that it is taking the string st with the maximum character of 25 here. Get line function. The function terminate reading the characters on the reading a new line character or when number of characters read is equals to the size here. By using new line function we can able to access here. The new line character is read but replaced by null character here. These are the things regarding how to input a string. Now we will move on to the next one outputting a string or how to print a string. If I want to input a character then get function we are using. If I want to output its character then put function we are using. But if I want to print a string then compulsory we need write function here. C++ provides a function write function or if you write write then it is a variable. If you are going to write empty brackets then it means that write function to output a string. Compulsory if I want to print a string then compulsory we need write function. The general form is C out dot write inside the bracket string comma size here to write. In the same way here if you observe in the previous case there we are using get line. Now to print that write function we are using. Here write string comma size. If you observe this example, in this example C out dot write st comma 25. Then st is the string name, 25 represent the number of characters it has to print. Then write function display specified number of characters here. How many characters we have specified that many characters here it we going to print. This function does not stop displaying the characters when encountering the null character until it will go to get the null character till that continuously it will go to print the characters. As a result if the size specified is greater than the length of the string it display beyond the bounds of the line here. Next we will move on the next concept that is some of the manipulation functions. What do you mean by manipulation? When you come on manipulation, the name itself suggesting manipulation that means for changing purpose, we need this manipulation functions. And under that we have string length function. String length while writing the spelling S-T-R-L-E-N we used to write. String line function while pronouncing string length we used to pronounce. It means that this function helps to find or helps to count how many characters are there in the given string. Whereas this function returns the length of the string, how many characters are there. That is the number of characters present in the string including the null character also. Including null character also it will count and it will print how many characters are there. While generating the result it will generate in integer format because here it has to print how many characters it has to count and print. When they come on the general form is variable equals string length inside the bracket the given string here to write. A string length 0 is called as null string, it's an empty string. For example here L equals string length m presses. Then it will return 7 because here it will count how many characters are there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 it will go to returns. For example, if I am going to write string length inside the double quotes, if I am going to write Mysore, then what it will display, it will returns. How many characters are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it will returns. 
Now is it clear? Whereas returning, it will generate an integer format. Next, we will move on string cat function. What is the use of this string cat function? For example, if you have 2 plus 3, then what will the result? 5 we are getting. For example, Anu plus Shri if I am going to write. Then what will be the result I am getting? Anu Shri. It means that in this case, in the both the case, we are using plus only. But here what happens? It will combine the given strings. Whereas here, it will going to add the values. Whereas here, it will combine the given string. That means string cat is used to combine the given strings. This function is used to concatenate. Combine we can say or concatenate also we can say. Concatenate two strings especially here. Here this is one string and this is one string. We can able to combine these two strings. The process of combining two strings to form a single string is called as concatenation. We can say it is concatenation. The general form is string cat. Inside the bracket you have to write string 1 comma string 2. That means both the string you have to write then final result we can get here. For example, for car, string 1 are written win. For string 2, we are written DOS 8. When we concatenate, then the result we are going to get Windows 8. It will going to display here. It means that it will combine the given string, that is string cat function. Next, we will move on string copy function. What do you mean by this string copy? The name itself is a string copy here. It means that it helps to copy from one string to another string. A string cannot be copied to another string by using assignment statement usually. The function string copy is used to copy a string into another string. From one string to another string, we can able to copy by using string copy function. Generally, directly we cannot copy. With the help of string function only, we can able to copy here. The general form is string copy inside the bracket string 1 comma string 2. Here it copies the string 1 to string 2 here. It copies all the characters of string 2 to string 1 here. For example, in string 1 we have computer and in string 2 we have science. When we concatenate, especially when we perform copy function, string copy, string 1 comma string 2, then string 1 becomes science here. Whatever thing here that will transfer to string 1 here. Now it's clear this is regarding string copy function. Next we will move on string compare function. What do you mean by the string compare? Here it will compare the given string. Both the string it will compare. If both the strings are same it will return true. If both the strings are different then it will display it as false here. When string compare especially here this function is used to alphabetically compare a string with another string. Compare one string with another string. This function is case sensitive. What do you mean by this case sensitive? Case sensitive means if I am going to write the characters in capital letter, then it will going to give different meaning. The same characters if I am going to write in small letter, then it will going to give different meaning. It means that case sensitive means if I am going to write upper case, then it will going to give different meaning. If I am going to write the same thing in lower case, that is in small letter, then also it will going to give different meaning here. That is, it treats the upper case letter and lower case letter as different here. If I am going to write capital T, then one more small t, then both are different because it is a case sensitive here. The general form is string compare string 1 comma string 2 whereas it compares all the characters of string 2 with string 1. It compares string 2 with string 1. The function returns positive value if a string 1 is greater than string 2, negative value if string 1 is less than string 2 or string 1 is same as string 2. Then if you observe in this example, Consider for string 1 we have there, where for there we are written T is in capital letter. And for string 2, once again there also we initialize it, but here if you observe, the first character is in small letter. When we perform string compare, what happens? Here string 1, we have what is the value in string 1 as well as string 2. But in string 2 we have there, and string 1 also we have there. But the string compare when you perform, then it will going to give negative value here.
Now is it clear? This is regarding string compare function. It is a case sensitive. In upper case, as well as if I would write in smaller case, then it will not consider the same variables. And the next one, string compare i function. Where a string compare i function is also compare one string with another string, but the main difference is here it is not a case sensitive. If you want, you can write in upper case or if you want, you can write in lower case also. Now, this function is used to alphabetically compare a string with another string. This function is not case sensitive. You can write in both in upper case as well as lower case. That is, it treats the upper case letter as well as lower case letter as same here. The general format is string compare i string 1 comma string 2. Here, it compares all the characters string 2 with string 1. Whatever in the string 2, it will compare with string 1 here. If both are same, it will return true or false depending upon that situation. This function returns positive value if string 1 is greater than string 2. Negative value if string 1 is less than string 2. 0 it returns that is it string 1 is same as string 2. For example, consider char string 1 there we have. In string 2 we have there. In both the case, especially in both string 1 as well as string 2 same we have. Then it will give the value is 0 because both are same. That's why it would give the values 0 because here in capital letter as well as small letter both are same here it will consider it is not a case sensitive concept. Now is it clear? Next we will move on the last concept that is other function which are the functions we are using here. C++ provides some useful functions under the library stdlib that is standard library function dotted. Some functions are rand function, yes rand function, random and randomized functions. These functions are used to generate pseudo random numbers that is numbers that are uniformly distributed within a given interval and for which there is no particular pattern here. For example here randomize, it initialize or seeds the random numbers generated with a random number format here. For example, random, just n if I am going to write, then it generates a random number between 0 to 9. If I am going to write 80 IO, yes, then it converts the strings especially into a numerical representation. Like this, here the last one here, it will convert a number to string format. These are the major functions we are using here. It means that on this chapter, you have studied regarding the character manipulation function, string manipulation function, then which are the mathematical function, which are the header files we require for this functions regarding that you have studied. Whereas in the annual exam, from this chapter, you will get only one question that on part B for two marks, there you will get the question which are the string function or which are the character functions or list the character functions, which are the header files we required. What do you mean by function? List the different types of functions. Like that, you may want to get the questions from this chapter. Next class, we'll meet you once again with a new chapter. Thank you for all of you.